The goal has always been to make the best wine we can. The volume is irrelevant. How did I get into wine? Started off as a hobby. <laughs> as a young fellow, I've never been a beer drinker or a spirits drinker. My father was a wine drinker and I was able to have a little sip and Dad would put water in it, of course. Throughout my uh, career, just drinking wine until I got down here in Margaret River. A lot of the winemakers I knew, and we used to do a lot of tastings together. Dr. Kevin Cullen, he brought along this beautiful bottle of uh, 1978 Musée Monterey Richebourg Pinot Noir from Burgundy, and it absolutely blew my mind, and I thought, the complexity, the, the beauty of this wine was enchanting, confronting, confusing, and it set me on the eternal quest. I had my business hat on and it, my business hat was telling me that this was a terrible decision. <laughs> but I had my love <laughs> telling me, overrule your business brain, have fun, enjoy it. It's a lot easier to buy wine and drink it and enjoy it. But it doesn't quite have the satisfaction of really getting your hands dirty. There's a great deal of pleasure in growing something on the land and taking it all the way through to a bottle of wine and serving it at your table with your family. There's a huge sense of accomplishment. There's a huge sense of uh, development. It's a really rewarding experience. What's being captured in the bottle is a point of time. It's a time capsule of all of the work that's been done in that vintage right up to that point. The next vintage is another time capsule. The same block, the same way you made it, the same oak, tastes different. Why is that? It's a beautiful thing.